Welcome to the module that takes a deeper look at the NBM Max T, Min T, and T methodologies and how it all works in Forecast Builder. So, from the population step, remember that the, uh, the Forecast Builder uses the deterministic Max T, Min T, and T from the NBM. Well, what is that and why? So, the deterministic NBM has uh, for max T, min T, and T has 16 model inputs within 36 hours, and that goes to only 9 beyond 84. You can see what those are on the right. There's a reason for that. So temperature guidance is weighted by model input performance for this deterministic NBM. So these weights are updated each week, and it uses an exponentially decaying weighted average by its correction scheme. For NBM grid points that contain a METAR observation, the bias correction uses METAR observations instead of the ARPA analysis. While this deterministic max T min T guidance verifies well, there are two limitations. The first is that small membership. There's only nine model inputs beyond 84 hours. The second is that only the mean data from the four ensemble systems is used to compute the guidance. So in other words, instead of using the 50 individual ECM WF ensemble members from max T or min T, this method only uses the mean of those members. So what's the difference between this deterministic and probabilistic NBM data? Probabilistic max T min T uses 171 model system inputs within 36 hours. And you can see those membership numbers at the right. The probabilistic max T min T guidance uses a kind of a different bias correction scheme. It uses a quartile mapped and dressed QMD methodology to the previous 60 days of IRMA analysis and all the model inputs are equally weighted. For NBM grid points that contain a METAR observation, the bias correction uses the METAR instead of the IRMA analysis. So the deterministic NBM, it's going to react faster to changes in the forecast given its smaller membership and dynamic weighting. However, the deterministic NBM does not include the full membership available to the NBM to build out the full spectrum of solutions. These two methods simply are not one-to-one. -one. If you're looking on the 1D viewer, the deterministic NBM is the dot. Again, that's what gets populated in, into GFE via Forecast Builder. And the fully probabilistic data fills out the box and whiskers. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the Forecast Builder team at nws.forecastbuilder at noaa.gov or visit the VLAB site. Thank you.